just the power of water management across thousands and thousands of acres um, using GPS leveling devices in the same business. Field Level 2 is Trimble's water management solution that leverages GNSS technology to allow farmers to survey, to design and also to implement optimal landforms which allows them to use the water as productively as possible of whatever limited resources they may have. Let's take a look at the drastic value field level can offer farmers operations. So there are clear values for implementing field level. Number one is irrigation. In this case, the farmer has all the water that they need. However, it could be better managed. Well, with field level, it allows you to choose exactly where to use it. Number two is drainage. So perhaps you have too much water and this could impact your soil health as well as your usable land. So using field level, gives you the ability to even out your water drainage to prevent flooding and ensure an equal distribution of water across that land. Number three is field design. So perhaps you're thinking about starting a new crop or there's another opportunity on the horizon. Well, with field level, again, you can create a custom design for your fields to ensure optimal productivity. Number four is repairs and touch up. So perhaps you're suffering from soil erosion issues or you're having to level out a previously leveled field again and touch it up or maybe um, clear out another drainage ditch. Well, again, field level has all those capabilities to allow you to do those jobs yourself. So now I'm gonna reel out some statistics around water management and agriculture. 20% of world agriculture is irrigated. That 20% contributes 40% to global food production. On average, irrigated land is approximately twice as productive as rain-fed land. Hmm. Furthermore, field leveling or water management can improve yields by 25% as well as reduce water consumption by 30%. Now, reducing water consumption is gonna have mass benefits as today, agriculture accounts for 70% of the global total water consumption. As populations increase across our globe today, so will the prices of water. This could be something beneficial to consider at a later date. So where do you use field level? When is it a good opportunity? When is it the right solution for you? The honest answer is, if you see an opportunity to improve your yield through improving your water management, then field level is the tool for you. I've seen the applications across small farms in Malaysia and Japan farming rice. Behind me here, I've got a huge 500 horsepower tractor with a huge bucket on the back that's also doing rice. The same machines level fields in sugarcane up in Queensland here. So many of you watching this may be wondering why GNSS leveling instead of laser leveling, which is a valid argument and a valid question. So let's see how field level compares to laser leveling. Number one, which is probably a big one, um, laser leveling setup can be as much as half the cost of a GNSS or a GPS leveling system. Field level two is a reasonably large investment at first. Secondly, laser leveling does not take into account the curvature of the earth, whereas GNSS or field level two does. This impacts the working distance of each system because laser leveling can work approximately 500 meters from the base location whereas GNSS or field level can work between two to three kilometers if necessary. Field level accuracy is also not impacted by ambient temperature or dust or wind or fog, whereas laser levelers are, which can be a massive annoyance when trying to complete a task. Laser also has a limited operational time, meaning that it is governed by daylight working hours, whereas GNSS does not have this limitation and it will keep you going day and night if you need it to. To cover all angles, let's talk about the potential obstacles with field level. 
It's expensive. The hardware alone will set you back 60,000 US dollars and that's for all the field level equipment on the machine and also the RTK correction source if you need one. As with most accurate technologies, it can get quite complicated and will require some perseverance on your behalf to get up to speed with the basics of setup and operation. But this is where we could help. And it's only as accurate as the satellites you are using. Laser has the advantage of directly having control over its accuracy by the way in which you calibrate the laser and how you set up the laser. Whereas GNSS, after you set up the RTK corrections, you're really at the mercy of the GNSS overlords and what they decide is going to be a good signal or a bad signal. Side note, we are still talking about one to two centimeter vertical accuracy here, but still that isn't good enough for some people. A simple high level overview of field level. Field level can be broken down into three categories. Number one is your survey. Number two is your design. And number three is your control or your level implementation. The survey. Before you even get into field level, you can actually start surveying your field. So this comes in the form of the WM Survey app, which is actually a free of charge software that's already built into an XCN 2050 display with the FM1000 Plus app. But for field level intent and purposes, it is going to give you a plot of the area as you drive around and then at the end of it give you your topographic map which can then be used for your field level design. The design, now this is taking your surveyed data and turning it into your desired water flow design. There are a few methods to do this depending on the complexity. For the real complex designs, you'll probably want to use a third party software if you want to learn the ropes yourself. Things like Terra Design, Autoplane, um, Terracutter as well, um, OptiSurface is another option, or there's many different third parties that offer this design service and you can work with them to create the landform and water flow that you want. If you just want a basic level design, a single plane design, then the software built in to the field level app allows you to do that and has a bunch of options and configurations for you to get that plane perfect. Wait for that plane to bugger off. The control. Now this is where you start to take action. This is the fun part. So the control is where you need a machine and an earth moving piece of equipment to actually bring your design to life. There are many different methods for control. Luckily, field level has them all covered for whatever configuration. Check out our other videos to see whether field level is the right option for you. We'll see you there.